Hey everybody, Purple Sanuki here. Um, quite a different video today. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that this possibly may be my most popular video. Um, hang on, guys. Um, Okay, um, let's get ready to start this. Just to let you know, this is um, reactions that are 100% blind because I have never seen any of the games that are out. The number one game I'm hoping for that was on the leaked showcase thing, I will put it... Um, right before the intro if I do find it and give it to you guys so yeah let's get started to something that I've been so excited for probably since Smash Bros was announced last year because I want to hear more about that also maybe um Possibly, I'm not gonna jinx it, but what I saw on that was a brand new Star Fox. Please make that happen. Okay, let's go. Please welcome Nintendo President and COO Reggie. Bills, uh, Bills, uh, Fisame. If you say so. Welcome to E3 Nintendo fans. And you guys thought we wouldn't have a press conference. Not my problem. We have Nintendo's biggest stars backstage ready to make some big announcements. <laughs> oh, great. Another Mario game. Don't love your tone, but actually no new Mario game today. What? I'm uh, getting bombed to bring my cart around. I'm uh, out of here. Hey, hey, looks like I'm the new face of Nintendo. Hey, they promised me you wouldn't be here. Come on, Reggie, give us Mother 3. How about this instead? Robot hey, wait a chicken. If Nintendo's heroes are backstage. Who's watching the bad guys? Not my problem. It's me, Wario. I guess this is my problem. While I go Reggie on these fools, here's what's new. Ah! So what? Uh, and Reggie. <laughs> oh my the way she moved. <laughs> this is officially the weirdest <laughs> Nintendo Direct ever. <laughs> yeah, directly! Directly to you! <laughs> this is the weirdest thing ever. Oh my god! <laughs> Smash Bros. Reggie's face is like so messed up right there. Ooh, will you? They're using Miis. Oh, the Miis are announced! Yes! Knew it. So apparently you can customize your own Miis. They can make a move from Samus or anyone you want, I guess. The NFC figures. Wow. Wait, so he's now Mario? Oh, 
Oh, so he helps you. Hello, I'm Masahiro Sakurai. Sakurai. From Sora Limited. Here at the Nintendo Digital Event, I'd like to lead off by talking about Super Smash Brothers. Right now, you're seeing two familiar bigwigs facing off in a friendly battle. Pigwigs. But this isn't a simple pre-rendered animation. What you are seeing will be possible in the new Smash Brothers games. Now, by using a Mii Fighter, anyone can join the battle. I thought about having Mii characters appear in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, but why didn't you? And decided against it. Somehow at the time, it didn't seem right to have Mii's punching and kicking. For this game, though, we're not simply throwing the Mii's into the fray. We've done some serious work getting them ready for a fight. So it's Samus. They're almost not even Mii's anymore. So I got some of a cold. Oh my god. The Mii's are OP now. I think you can tell that the Miis are going to be just as competitive as the other characters. Mii fighters will come in three varieties. Oh, so you can't make it like a Sonic or Crawlers any of that. Fight empty handed and prefer to be up close and personal. It's still pretty Mii cool though. Crawlers are both fast and powerful. Sword fighters are weapon masters. They stay cool and calm as they chase down opponents. Gunners are armed with mysterious arm cannons. Semis. They have lots of different projectiles that can be fired from long range. Brawlers, sword fighters, and gunners. Each type is treated as a separate fighter. And each type can choose four special moves from 12 options. This means that the Mii fighters will have a total of 36 special moves from which to choose. Wow. It will take nine regular fighters to equal that number of moves. But I didn't decide to include Mii's in the lineup just so you or your friends <laughs> well, can get the sworn in. See, every day, I receive requests for new characters to be added to the game. And now you can use Mii's to recreate oh, the would? character you like and fight as them. Ice T. Oh my god. You can fight. Anyone can fight. This is your chance to defeat Nintendo's greats. New character? Please? 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 No. We're fast approaching the sales date of the 3DS version. The game is almost complete, but of course there are an astronomical number of variables in a game like this. We have to be sure to put enough. Bruce Wayne is totally OP. Test it correctly. Thank you for your patience. We've put all our focus into getting the fighters, wow. items, assist trophies, stages, and enemy characters ready and in the game. And there are many different modes besides the main Smash Battles. I won't go over them in detail now, but let me show you a bit of what's in store for you. Okay. The Kid Icarus Uprising. Whoa! How's it going, Sandbag? Um, thick? Okay. Oh, that's cool. So there's a bomb hitting game. That's what I see. Okay, I'm just gonna say it out right now. The, the game to make it so much better is if they had Yarn Yoshi back. Haven't introduced yet, but I don't think we can talk about them all before. Because the game has been out released for like, or talked about for like two years. But I love this video that's going on right now. This music is amazing. Wait, that's not summer. Oh, the 2014. 
Hi everyone, and welcome to Nintendo's digital event at E3. Reggie! This year we wanted to do something different to celebrate what it means to be a Nintendo fan. Today you'll meet many of the talented Nintendo teams working hard to deliver great games and hear some of our big E3 news, with more to be shared throughout the show. While I've changed out of my Fire Flower suit for now, Mario is still close to my heart. <laughs> Yeah, the NFC. You may recognize this as what Mr. Iwata used earlier to defeat my Mii Fighter in Super Smash Bros. Now, I'll say there's no way he beats me without resorting to a little magic. And in fact, I'm right. That's exactly what he did. Because this is no ordinary toy. This is one of the first in a new line of products Nintendo has in development called Amiibo. Amiibo? What? And only on Nintendo What's the system, ABO for? to enjoy all the different experiences in this Toys to Life category. Along with Amiibo, both Disney Infinity and Skylander's Trap Team have unique features and functionality that can only be found on Wii U. There's a special chip that's embedded in every figure. There's a Any Tom Nook one and an Isabel one. Wow. On the Wii U gamepad. And when that happens, they spring to life in compatible games in cool new ways. When you touch Amiibo to the gamepad, the character's data is downloaded into the game you're playing. And it's also a two-way street. Oh, um, okay guys, we're gonna go back to that, I guess. Next time, I guess I'll hold the gamepad in my hand, but um, Fail number one. Now, oh, great reality is all of this again. Oh, let's go. So I'm going to ask you to do this. When we're done here, at any time you can catch Nintendo of America's own Bill Trinan, who's hosting a dedicated Amiibo video that goes into a little more detail. So be sure to find him at Nintendo.com or the Nintendo YouTube channel. Okay. Super Smash Brothers and Amiibo are big initiatives for Nintendo. Okay. But now it's time to give you a sneak peek at some of the many projects in the world. Whenever I'm over in Japan and lucky enough to see these new games, I'm reminded of the first video game I fell in love with. Super Mario World on my Super NES. Oh. I played it endlessly, finished with 99 lives, and I still have that cartridge. I bet you remember the That's first cool. game you fell in love with. Those of us who Pikmin is the first game I fell in love with. Nothing it was. Them in the world. And those of us who love Nintendo know that no matter what's going on in our lives, we can always count on these games to deliver fun and great gameplay. Because it's Nintendo. But what is it like to make these games? Well, you're about to find out directly from our development team. They're working on some amazing new projects that underscore the point that there's never been a better time to play games on Nintendo platforms. At the end of the day, Nintendo game creators share one belief. There's nothing wrong with having a little fun. With that, I'm going to step aside to let our developers show you their new games. Okay. Enjoy the rest of the show. Okay, Reggie. Developer story. Wait. Wait. What? What? Don't tell me. Oh! Don't tell me. I'm Tezuka of Nintendo. How do you do? I'm Ebisu of okay. Goodfield Company. Thanks for having me. When Nintendo reached out to Goodfield, we didn't ask them to make. I am going to shit my pants! Oh my god! We said we wanted to make a Yoshi game. Hype! 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 The yarn and fabric as day one. Let's play this. Day one. Let's play. No matter what, it's gonna be a day one LP. I don't think I'm having another LP playlist. This is going to be a day one LP, no matter what. For Kirby, we used strands of yarn as the core element and expressed things through their movement. 
This time, now that we were working in a three-dimensional world, I may want to play challenge through both the Yoshi Island games first on my channel before I do this, though. But so this game looks awesome! Or some cloth. Oh my you god! Those things pretty hard. They get unraveled and knitted up and do a lot of things like that. Oh my god. Both Mario and Yoshi games are 2D action That's platform cool. games. The big difference is that Mario games are about performing challenging tasks yes, they are. within a given time limit. But with Yoshi games, they don't have any time limits. Yes, they don't. Because that's played Yoshi's Island and that's all. You can make new discoveries. If you guys don't know, that will be 100% LP probably. It's turning out to be an action game where you can have fun in a wide variety of ways. When you usually make an action game, things like how far you can jump are set at a certain distance. So you would build the terrain with that in mind. But in the case of Yoshi, he's so almighty. If he tries, he can fly as far as he wants. Whoa! Propeller Yoshi! His tongue is the most powerful weapon. Well, it may be weird calling it a weapon. He sure likes to tongue people. <laughs> so as we were thinking about how we should build the game, Tezuka-san told us that it's centered around exploration. We took it as Yoshi's abilities are there to be utilized for exploration. From there, we were able to progress with the game's development smoothly. This game is awesome, hands down. This may be my, my favorite Wii U game on the Wii U if this comes out. transformations in the game because Yoshi himself is made of yarn. Now, my only other request is Please make this 2014. This time, put in two player mode. Wait, what? Two Yoshis appear, and that actually <laughs> really well. Hype, 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 hype. People hype. can play to help each other out. So in tough situations, if there are two players, they can both overcome it. Oh my God. Yoshi can eat up and spit out the other Yoshi wherever he likes. This is really important in co-op. Wow! Used in a way to attack the other player. Maybe that could be my first collab. Really, a wide range of gameplay is possible. We've made prototypes of different ways to express the yarn fabric for Yoshi. And we felt that the stuffed yarn Yoshi was particularly attractive. Yeah, it's attractive. Yeah. There was quite a phase of trial and error until we decided to go with the current form. I would. Yeah, this time it's about a textured look. And we also wanted to give the world a handmade feel. But we then asked, what makes things look handmade? We tried making things of our own, hoping that it would help in reflecting the... I want one. I want one. Give me one Nintendo. I need one. There is certainly a key phrase that I have. It's amazing Yoshi. Oh, I want this I 2014 want element of surprise. 2014. And I want to make it a game that brings a smile to your face just by owning it. Go. Oh, that's cool. It's like it's this is it's like a three-dimensional thing. Ah oh, shit, 2015 really, but oh, it's gotta be a great game anyways. <laughs> Super Mario 3D World DLC! <laughs> hype, 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 hi, hi, hype, 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. So you can use the gamepad. Oh my god, that's three dimensional. So it has to be 3D World DLC. Wait, Captain Toad Treasure Trucker. It's a game coming. Oh, holiday 2014. Day one LP. 
day one LP is that's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, no doubt. That will be happening. Oh. Robot chicken again, I guess. Hello. Hello. Hey, look, I'm really sorry about kidnapping you <laughs> 80 plus times. But my 80 plus. So, is it cool if I have the last donut? I deserve that. It should do Bowser. Wait. Zelda! Oh my god. Last year, I said that revisiting the conventions of the Zelda series would be our theme for the new Zelda game for Wii U. However, before I get into that, let me talk about something that I needed to help to realize this ambition. In fact, it's something that we've wanted to do for a long time in the Legend of Zelda series. And so, development began with this as our focus. In the earlier releases... Are they going to go back to the open world? Players got to explore a wide area, scrolling up, down, left, and right. Are they going to do that? However, after the game transitioned to 3D and the hardware continued to evolve, it became harder to create that feel of being in a vast world. For example, in Wind Waker, we used various techniques to create a wide world where you could freely explore many... Fun fact, I've never been in Wind Waker. But it was very hard to create one large world where everything felt connected. We had to design small, bounded areas with a defined entrance and exit. And putting them all together made it feel like you were playing in a large world. Yes, it did, because it still feels like that from when Waker HD. You couldn't cut through the boundaries wherever you like to explore that world. Yes. Today, I'd like to talk to everyone about the latest Zelda game for Wii U. But first, please take a look at how the game looks on screen. Whoa. This is the new world of Zelda. It's quite a vast world, isn't it? That looks gorgeous. You can and pretty. see those mountains in the distance if you walk far enough. We couldn't create such a wide world like this in the past. As far as what you can do with such a vast field, this is amazing. Explore, as soon as those boundaries are removed. It means you can enter any area from any direction. So the puzzle solving in this game begins the moment the player starts to think about where they want to go, how they will get there, and what they will do when they arrive. This is a clean break from the conventions of past games in the Zelda series, where you had to follow a set path and play through the scenario in the right order. Okay. I believe this departure will create opportunities for new gameplay that have not been experienced in previous Zelda games. As you can see, and as you know from the Zelda series, the world in these games can be quite peaceful. However, it is a Zelda game after all, so strong enemies will certainly appear even in this setting. Powerful enemies appearing in such a peaceful world is one of the defining features of the Zelda series. I think that one convention we can keep, right? Oh, oh my God. The hype is real. The hype is real. Wait, what's that? Holy shit. Oh my. Wow. Is that Link? I'm not like Link at all. Yep, that's Link. That ponytail. Wait, wait, what? What? Oh my god. Aw, 15, but who cares? What could this be? Okay. Is this a fossil game again? Nope, it's not a Pokeball. It's Pokemon. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Let's see some gameplay.
There's a kid running in Latios in HD. Well done, Nintendo. A Meg Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Oh my god! This looks amazing! What? Oh no. I wonder if one of my friends is thinking MZ the Skitty. Okay, this is eventually hype for me. Hype! Hype! The hype! The hype is real! Wait. Mega. Mega, what's your name? Do you ever whatever. take those gloves off? No! Take my gloves off, do whatever I want. Oh, here we go. Okay, now. Mega, Mega Highlander, Mega Ground them was their no! names. Shut up! <laughs> Dead witches get dragged to hell. Oh. It is what it is. Okay. Dang, I'm not too excited for it. These are the gates. Whatever your friend did to get on the other side of these, let's just say she's not having a good day. Welcome to hell, love. I'm not one for pets who don't listen to their masters. What's kind of like an RPG? Person on the planet who says go to hell and means take me there. I'm afraid I don't have time to dance too long. A friend is waiting for me. Time's almost up. This game looks decent. You better start creating miracles. Wow. You can go another round, can't you? Why the fuck is there Zelda? Featherface. And Samus. Oh! When I said fuck, he, she said fuck off. Oh, October. I'm not gonna get it though. I don't like it. Ooh. I'm the general producer of Hyrule Warriors. Hyrule Warriors. Of Koei Tecmo. Another I'm Zelda the game. Producer of Hyrule Warriors. Hayashi of Koei Tecmo. I'm Anuma of Nintendo. Supervisor. There are a lot of us in the Hyrule Warriors development team who grew up playing The Legend of Zelda. Okay. So getting the chance to work on this series, we were actually a little nervous. Okay. But Anuma-san told us we could do whatever we like a number of times, and it became the action style that it is now. A big difference between this and the Zelda games is that you're fighting an army and there are multiple battles occurring on the field at once. If your forces are in trouble, you'll get a warning, so you have the option to go out there and help out your allies. Oh, wow. Impa, I remember her. What I think is great with the Zelda world is how giant bosses appear, and you have to think about how to beat them. I I've never played a lot of, of Zelda, Twilight Princess, but it looks fun. For fans of the Dynasty Warriors series. There's also a two-player mode. You can play two players by using both TV and gamepad. It's oh. not a split-screen experience. That's cool. So you're able to each be fully immersed on a single screen. There are a lot of playable characters, but you know. Since it's the Legend of Zelda, there are Link and Princess Zelda. Impa, who appears through the series, is playable as well. Also, Midna from Twilight Princess makes an appearance as a playable character. Wow. If there is a certain character you like in the series, this is the first game where you'll be able to play as your favorite character. There are a lot of playable characters in the Dynasty Warrior series. But man, the ideas they come up with for what kind of moves they give the characters are amazing. 
I heard about, really think about this things. in the Smash Bros. Invitational Tournament, but Midna is in Smash Bros. as an assist trophy. So that's cool. So now, it's really turning out as a great new Zelda collaboration title that's worthy of the name Hyrule Warriors. Holy shit! Since this collaboration was a first of its kind, we were able to make it a great game that's like a celebration of both franchises. I really hope you all look forward to it. As a collaborative title, it has both the essence of Zelda and the essence of Dynasty Warriors, as well as a lot of other essences they have all mixed in to form a brand new experience. It'll be great if both fans get interested in playing the other series. It'll make me really happy if they all have fun playing. Ooh, September. That won't be a day one LP. Probably won't LP that. What's this? What's this? What's this? Kirby! Kirby, Kirby, Kirby! Yes! Hype! Hype! Oh my god, so much hype! But this Kirby game was kinda dull in my opinion, like I wouldn't want to join wide everywhere. That doesn't seem too fun, but I'll do a day one LP on it, I promise you guys. Wow. But this game looks really cool. Rocket. Tank! Oh my god. Kirby what? And the Rainbow Curse, okay. 2015, a lot of these good games are coming out in 2015, which kind of makes me sad. Metroid? Okay, I can tell Sean Nintendo's probably going to shit his pants. Oh, wait, what? The fuck is this? Is this what I think it is? Oh, this is what I think? Um, don't tell me. Is this, is this a sequel to Chugga's favorite game of all time? Don't tell me. Come on, don't tell me. I think it's called X. Let's see if I'm right. It said Pika. Xenoblade Chronicles X 2015! Yes! Yes! Hype! Hype! Oh wait, what's this? Is that Egan? Maybe now you reconsider announcing Mario Ballet! What about Star Fox? <laughs> Reggie Fees Amy or whatever you say that robot. Wait a minute. Super Mario Maker! I heard about this. Wow, holy crap. Congratulations. So you can win be that's cool how uh, you can make your own course as like the old version of Mario's it'd be cool if it was like Super Mario 3D World like that'd be cool wait and the Queen of the Earth New Super Mario Bros. U that's cool so that's the new Super the, the Wii U version of it but that's cool this is a cool thing. Yeah, a thing. A cool thing. But all, in all seriousness, this is like... 
This is a really cool thing. They're adding other elements of games. He's skinny. Oh my god. Um. Uh, 2015. You. Is that a squid? It's a squid. Or not. It's a paintball game, oh my god. Um, okay, Splatoon. Hi, I'm Nogami, the producer of Splatoon. Oh, Splatoon. One of the game's directors. And I'm the other director, Sakaguchi. Sakaguchi. Splatoon is an eight-player, four-on-four, online multiplayer action game. It's all about controlling territory. Teams battle to claim their turf by splattering the map with ink, and the team with the most territory, when time runs out, wins. Nogami also, it's not came up with the squid a idea. paintball thing. One day, out of the blue, he was like, hey, let's make them squids. Rather than designing the characters and then making a game around that, we instead came up with the game first and then created characters we thought would work well with the gameplay. That's actually how Nintendo prefers to approach game design. One day, when Sakaguchi-san and I were hanging out on our day off, he said, Hey, what if you're able to switch between being a squid and a person? For example, That's cool. say you can only shoot ink as a person, but as a squid, you're able to perform a wider range of actions. With that as our main concept, That's cool. we thought about different ways to expand the gameplay, and the squid idea meshed perfectly. We thought of things like, what if you can swim really fast in your own ink as a squid? Or, what if your feet get stuck when walking through enemy <laughs> ink? Through this process, we kept expanding the game's features, which brought us to where we're at now, with players able to do things like ink and swim up walls, and swim super fast through their own ink. Huh. As a person, your first priority is shooting ink to expand your territory. Yeah. Once you've done that, You've got more turf to move through as a squid and make use of your squid abilities. When you're using the gamepad, you can quickly look up or tilt your gaze downward to aim. It's really natural and intuitive. Huh. I think these controls are a great use of the gamepad's gyro sensor. Also, oh, you can fight people well with them. That's the cool. The view of the entire map is also displayed on the gamepad. That's cool. And you can check it to see what colors of ink are being splattered where in real time. Wow. This That's really creative. Lets you keep an eye on how the battle is unfolding. Normally with shooters, you only get moment-to-moment -moment glimpses of the action. But because of the layering nature of splattering the ground with ink, you can tell by glancing at the map what other players are up to and where they're headed. Oh, wow. I think that adds a new layer of strategy to a game like this. Spices it up a bit. The other neat use of the gamepad is making use of your ally's icons displayed on the map. Oh, wow. So the, if you tap one of these icons... It's basically UAV for Call of Duty. ...and land next to them ready to go. This is just one more mechanic that adds a nice twist to the strategy. That's cool. Your enemies are shooting ink as well. With regular guns, you can't really see bullets flying by. But since this is ink, you'll be able to see it flying from around a corner, and you'll know, whoa, there's a bad guy over there. If you forge forward and ink a path, your allies will be able to use it to follow you, and you'll be able to get to your enemy's territory quicker. Yes, you probably will. But on the other hand, they can just ink over that and ruin your strategy. In this way, splattering ink is both an offensive and a defensive tool. Yes. 
There are a lot of different ways to play depending on your style. Some people like to stay hidden in the ink for a long time and wait for the perfect chance to pop out. Other people just blaze ahead in the path to try to get as far as they can into sniping. territory as fast as they can. There are a lot of different tactics you can employ, but no matter how you play, the ink you're shooting has an effect on everyone else. You'll never feel like you're playing alone or in a vacuum. It's pretty magical, really. Amano-san, you like to try and ambush people, right? Do I? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I play it a bit safer and lay down a lot of ink and make it hard for enemies to advance into my team's territory. I like to stay at home and protect the base. Yeah, that's not my style at all. I'm just playing bad. <laughs> yeah, Nogami-san, you're really not very good. This is cool. Um, I will probably only buy this in an eShop game because this game would not be worth $60. Like, no way, no how. I would not pay $60 for this. Only to like 20 or 15. This is cool. This is this is basically child Call of Duty. Okay, 2015. Not bad. Well, that just about wraps up things for the Nintendo Digital Event. Okay, time, that was decent. The Not the best. They definitely won E3, though. Show this year. First of all, right after we sign off, we invite you to stay tuned on Nintendo's Twitch channel for our post-show recap. It's a one-of-a-kind tournament in the Nokia Theater at LA. The LA Air post-show recap. Sorry, guys. Minute live at E3. There's even more game news we didn't have time to squeeze into this video. If you're in the LA area, we invite you to come on down to the Super Smash Brothers Invitational this afternoon. I saw it's it a one -of -a -kind last night in the Nokia Theater at LA Live to see as much Super Smash Brothers live action as you could ever want. You'll find more details at e3.nintendo.com slash invitational. But Nintendo's experience at E3 is also spreading across the country, thanks to our partnership with Best Buy. You'll find more details at BestBuy.com. I will certainly not be going to that. And if you want to just follow along without ever leaving home, our coverage is going to be nonstop. We're going to be broadcasting Nintendo Treehouse live at E3 from the show floor directly on Nintendo's Twitch channel. If you care about games, want to see more of the action, and hear from many of the people who created those games, this is Binge Heaven. And yes, Mr. Miyamoto will be among the guests. Follow us on our Twitch and YouTube channels, get more information at Nintendo.com, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and join the Miiverse E3 community. We've covered a I already lot have. today, so I want to thank you for watching. But I just can't leave you without one more little teaser. Wait, what? Enjoy E3 and play Nintendo. He has Mario Pin, but what's up? Smash Bros! Character? Uh. Game. Really? Palatina! Are you really gonna do that? I know you need more girl characters in the game, but. This is not the way to do it. Some awesome music, though.
Lovely Ballotina. Oh, I'm not here to save you. Wait, she isn't? Oh, right. Palatina awaits. I'm here for a little uh, divine intervention. Wait, you want to fight too, Lady Palatina? I'm no stranger to fighting. Have you forgotten that time we fought each other? Well, yeah, sure. But that was when the Chaos King had you under mind control. Well, anything an angel can do. They're using lines from the story. Perhaps you'd like to see some Holy crap. To protect you. This is some pretty amazing moves. Auto reticle. Wait. She can run faster than Sonic. Is that the whole roster? Oh wait, no, it isn't because um, one of my friends, um, school-wise, just sent me a link to a new character that was announced at what they call the Smash Bros. Roundtable with our friend Smash Bros. Four. But apparently, oh wait, that's not all. Wait. That's Star Fox. That clearly shows Star Fox, but they're trying to blur it out. Oh, me and Mata here. Hello. I've been at work on even more fun games that use both the TV and the gamepad. There are a lot of new experiences, and I'd like to show you some of them at E3. You can play using the gamepad. The game for people watching. It makes them fun not just to play, but also for people watching. I hope you look forward to seeing how these fun other experiences on the show for, even if you're watching them from the show for. Thanks. Find them more today until 40 p.m. Pacific time. Nope. What I'm gonna do is show you guys um, my live reaction to this, and this will be in a separate video also. But one of the school just sent me a video. Or something. Let's see how this turns out. Cause it says the character name, but um, I don't know if it's true or not. Mario, what? Mega Man in Sonic Cell. Wait, what? Oh my god, it's not fake! Oh no! You know me pretty well, I did not want Pac-Man in this game, but do you know what this means now? We pretty much have the big game companies now in Smash Bros. Namco, um, Sega, Nintendo, Game Freak, And that's all basically. What? That's still pretty big. Oh my god. Okay, I'm pretty impressed. Mr. Game Watch? Is Mr. Game Watch confirmed or not? I guess not. So, everyone, that will be the end of the video. Thank you all for watching my reactions to both the Pac Man confirmed and the Nintendo Digital event. So, I'll see you guys back again today for the Wave Cup 100cc in Mario Kart 8. So, I will see you guys then. Well, that's. Tomorrow's the Leaf Cup of Mario Kart 8. So, 